Cancer, Cancer, welcome. It's uh, we're gonna do a general read for you today, looking at your current energy, desire, outcome, what's working for you, what you need to be aware of. We'll clarify all of those, and then we'll pull three more cards at the end just to make sure we have everything covered off. That said, uh, this may not be for everybody. Uh, it is a general read, <clears throat> but for those that are new to my channel welcome and for those that are returning thank you for coming back uh, let's see where your current energies are Ooh, the empress things are coming to fulfillment uh, this could be marriage or motherhood could be a bunch of things the high priestess is your desires desire seems like inspiration Um, what the outcome is, is the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands, just things feeling like it's been a long time. Things are a little overwhelming or you're just tired. And then we have the Six of Pentacles, sharing possibly. Uh, that's where, what's working for you. And the Eight of Wands is what you need to be aware of, is that maybe things are finally going to start moving on, for, moving up for you. Uh, so let's go in. Oh, card malfunction. Apologize. Too many cards anyway. Let's reshuffle that. So let's clarify the Empress. Why is the Empress here? The High Priestess is also your energy. And that's the desire that you may have is to just be within your own power. Be who you are. Um, I almost get that it's... There's a lot of influences, possibly with this Ten of Wands, where it's just seemed like so much um, bullshit. King of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. It looks like you're taking action in order to create a new love of some sort. That or it could be somebody coming into you. Uh, that there's this inspiration to start something new. Like, okay, you know what? Maybe, maybe for some of you, you're inspired to be a mother or, uh, that type of, uh, parent type thing, um, where you become more nurturing and that leads possibly to a different type of romance. Uh, and it's something that you're probably feeling right now it's like hey you know what it's spring <laughs> high priestess this is your energy clarified by the queen of cups the chariot and the eight of cups this feels like being motherly being warm being loving standing in that energy that makes you feel special and as you do that things start to move things start to change your views start to change how you see life starts to change uh, the chariot is your energy um, and with those changes um, there's things that you will leave behind they got you to where you are now they may not get you to where you want to be this also brings us to the Ten of Wands in the outcome. So, sort of long journey, keep walking. Uh, Queen of Pentacles shows up, Four of Swords. Four of Swords has been showing up for a lot of people. Uh, and the King of Cups uh, shows up. So we've had all three of your cards show up. Queen of Cups, the Chariot, and the High Priest. I've never seen that. All in the same... This is you. This is just you. I want to go back to this. This is just you standing in your power. This is just you being you. Letting it all, letting inspiration come in, letting guidance come in, letting it all in. And you're letting go. It feels like you're letting it all go. Because things have been, you know, it's taken work. It's taken a lot of work to understand where you are um, within 
yourself, to see your value, to see that you are safe in being who you are, even though others might judge you. It's okay to leave your heart out on your sleeve because you're standing in your power. When you are in your power, nobody else can take that away from you unless you let them. This is amazing because then we have the King of Cups show up, um, showing that you know you do have worth, that you've got command and control of that which is around you. You don't need to fear your emotions. You don't need to fear all of these things. And then we have the King and Queen of Cups. This on top of um, the Empress. This could definitely be some type of situation where for some of you, this could be a major relationship that comes in where you feel your match. Somebody that mirrors you. Somebody that you know supports the things that you're doing which is like this four of swords this person you know could be very well supporting this showing you your worth because it's been a long time um now with what's working for you is this six of pentacles which is sharing and um Or maybe for some of you, you've been given a gift uh, in this type. And underneath that is a relationship. So somebody providing you with something like this King of, Pen King of Cups and Four of Swords, where they can share that with you. They can share their strength. They can share their, you can share their weaknesses back and forth. And it, there's a lot of depth here. And at sometimes it's kind of confusing with this two of swords. So the eight of wands. Hermit, nine of pentacles in the tower. The eight of wands could indicate travel, but I see that it's just life moving. You've been introspective for so long, and there's been a lot of good things that's come out of that with the Nine of Pentacles here. There's been a lot of um, nuggets of wisdom, if you will, that put you onto a different path. And that path becomes abundantly clear with the Tower here. The Tower is one of my favorite cards because all of a sudden, something that you might have believed gets shifted dramatically. And I kind of like that because when lightning strikes, uh, there is such clarity about what you see. It's it's kind of burned into your brain. Let's pull four more, car three more cards around this. Judgment, Ace of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. I get that there is some fear here. Like the judgment card, yeah, it's like, but I get this is letting go, like a decision to let go and trust uh, something that you may not be familiar with. You're hoping. It's like this hope um, or your... Um, How do I don't want to say it? It's like the your spirits have been lifted. Like I, you, you've been reignited into this, like to believe in love again, which kind of makes sense with what we were talking earlier. Um, this new belief in love does create some anxiety and fear. Um, with cancer, I would invite you to share, like, subscribe, dislike if you wish. Uh, but that is what I have for you today. Thank you for being here. This is definitely an interesting read. Uh, I have never seen uh, that sort of power show up in the center of read, which is just awesome. Uh, thank you for being here. Best of luck this week, and we will talk to you next time.